What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow decoders around the world, wherever you may be, my name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality. Today we're going to be breaking down, holy shit, <laughs> this, this topic, this decode was rather more on the fun side. And I wanted to get you invested in the feeling for this decode with the introduction of the bear <laughs> taking a dump. Holy shit, decoded. So let's jump into this. Put on a pair of headphones, block out the outside world. This one's going to be a lot of fun. It will be very eye-opening, very enlightening, I promise. So I want to start off with this right here because... You know, like we say this, we say these words a lot. Holy shit, holy shit. We say the word shit a lot. But I feel that the reason why we have incorporated these words into our language, they started somewhere, uh, is because mankind is being used and we are entertainment. We're inside of a movie, a video game, etc. And it is not us that's in control of this reality. We are just along for the ride. And I feel that God is a stand-up comedian. And I, I put God in parentheses so you know what I mean. Because it can vary so many different ways on what the G-O-D means. But I feel like it's a stand-up comedian. Whatever created this reality, whatever's behind it, has a wicked sense of humor. And this, this decode is dedicated to that stand-up comedian aspect of the G.O.D. So let's jump into this presentation. Here are the five topics. <laughs> Notice they have all the word, they have the word shit in them. <laughs> so number one, bear shit. Number two, you're the shit. Number three, holy shit. Number four, Hershey, Hershey kiss shit. That was a tongue twister. And number five, made in Japan shit. <laughs> made in Japan. I mean, does, does this thing look like a Hershey kiss? There's a very specific reason why I have that topic. I'm going to blow you away. I'm going to show you a scripted reality. Someone I don't even know embedded into this decode. Somebody on social media. That'll be topic number four. So let's get into the very first topic for this holy shit decoded bear shit. Bear shit. Why bear shit? Well, first and foremost, keep in mind that in the beginning, in the Old Testament, in the Torah, you don't have to be a fan of it. It's a script playing out. And it's a fun one. It's all allegorical, but this is the in the beginning. In Hebrew is bear shit. Right there, bear shit. It's the opening phrase in the beginning. So I had put down here and I released this already. It's simple. God took a dump and here we are. Stop thinking you're special. Because <laughs> we're all holy shit. You become holy and you become shit. And you can see how the, 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 the fun begins here. Because the story of man being made from the earth. And then the spirit being breathed into the man. 
Well, where do you think bears shit? Into the dirt. Into the soil. Where everything goes. Which is going to be tied to Pluto and the underworld. But I think this is just very funny. That the very beginning of the Torah is bear shit. And Adam, the first man, was made from the dirt where shit goes. <laughs> I just think that's really funny. So I thought this graphic really came through uh, very well. Um, as, as did this one. Okay, so let's let's continue to go here and let's break down the word through numerology. Take the science of numbers and we can see that the original Hebrew Aramaic language, which is where the Torah came from, in the beginning, bear shit is a number 76. 76. Now that's going to reduce down. Those of you who like to reduce down, it's going to go on into the number four. But 76 is the big humdinger here in the full expressions of the Hebrew with the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, not reducing down 76. And I had covered the 76 in my beast decoded. If you haven't watched this, please do. And I want to digress and give a big shout out to all you Patreon members. Thank you for your support because I would assume that all of you have watched the beast part two, which really blew the roof off of it all. It showed much more than the beast part one in its own different context and really clarified things. But you see, when you do the astro alchemy of the, of the Zodiac, you're going to get the number 187. That is taking all 12 elements, including the 13 in the middle. You always want to make sure you include that 13, 12 disciples plus the Christ, the beast becomes... 187, which is the atomic mass of osmium, the wizard of osmium. There's the 76 in the beginning. In the beginning. Okay, in the beginning. Bear shit. It's tied to the zodiac wheel, the beast above. Okay, the wizard of osmium. And this is where it gets super interesting, becoming shit on the world stage. Holy shit. Osmium giving that 76 tied to bear shit. It's the 187. When you add up all the neutrons, protons, and electrons for osmium, you get 263. And just like that, we can connect it to mathematics. And it's a very big connection. It's the 56th prime number. We go right back to numerology. And we can see that it means being on stage, being part of the movie. So in the beginning, in the beginning was the void and then it was earth was created and the setup to become a movie star in this reality when you incarnate you become a star of the movie in the show called the game of life that's what this research shows in the beginning it's bear shit we're made up of the dirt according to theology and we become a bag of bones and now we become a player on the world stage and this is why studying your astrological chart is so valuable and important because this is the great beast above make no mistake about it that's what the research shows and it has a big say on how you operate in this reality and it's the operating system the operating system we're going to get back to that in just a little bit so in the beginning when we reduce it down i told you we were going to seven plus six is going to give us 13 that's going to give us the four. And now you can see the comedy come out again through the tarot giving its, uh, its fun here. It's death. You know, every time you go to the bathroom, every time you sit on the, on the throne and you go to the bathroom, number two I'm talking about, death comes out because you're not going to use it anymore. It's waste material. And this is how comical this reality is. So essentially... In the beginning, and the 13 can be tied to aluminum, and it's literally this wheel takes a dump, and down the hole it goes, and it becomes a star, and we become holy shit, <laughs> and we become part of the movie, okay? So it's a luminary body having to die, the stars having to go to the bathroom, and out past waste material and that waste material 
goes down and gets recycled and now you become a bag of bones through the dirt in the beginning okay the 13. it's just so funny that this, this is when you go to the bathroom it's death death comes out so that was the first topic let's get into the second topic now i'm just getting warmed up you're the shit. you ever say that to somebody you're the shit, man yeah you're the shit. maybe you're holy shit. <laughs> you're the shit. So when I convert the bear shit in the beginning from Hebrew to Chaldean, this is how special Chaldean is. And many of you may not know, but Chaldean is the closely linked cipher to Hebrew Aramaic more than any of the other ones. Well, when you say the word shit in Chaldean, it, it's a direct match. Again, the comedy, right? We say this word so much. We say it so much in so many different contexts in the beginning. There was shit. There was a bear shitting in the woods. <laughs> and then we get created from the dirt. We get created from death. Right? Now, I'm not saying it's true. It's allegorical. But I'm saying it's this is the story. You're like when you read a book or you watch a movie, it's like, oh, that's a pretty good story. It's a pretty good plot. That's what we're breaking down and decoding. The plot. The story. Whether it's real or not is besides the point. The story and the plot are funny. Bear shit, shit in the beginning. So going to the periodic table to get more of a laugh, there are certain words that you could spell out. Many of you have done this. Started doing this years ago. And of course, as fate would have it, one of the words that you can spell out is another word for shit, which is feces. I think that word is pretty nasty, actually. It's worse than shit. Feces. No one really uses that. Like, oh, I got to go get rid of some feces. <laughs> but it's just so fascinating. You can take these elements of the periodic table and spell words out. And we can spell feces out. And when you break it down into the numerology. See, iron is actually called ferrum. So I'm going to the original context. That's why it says F-E here. Now, yeah, it'll change if you do iron, cerium, and sulfur. But ferrum and cerium and sulfur, you get the number 76. And we go right back to a bear shit, a bear shit in the woods. You heard that before. You've heard that joke, a bear shit in the woods. Eddie Murphy has a really funny one, standing next to a white bunny. Anyways, feces, bear shit in the beginning. And you can see how the beginning element is iron. Now we have iron in our blood, which is essential. 26 is tied to yod heh vah which is which is the God of the Torah. Iron is the Iron Dome in Israel. 26 is Adam and Eve in Chaldean numerology. yod heh vah is 26. I could go on and on with this 26. The word source is 26. I could go on and on. And you can see how iron's atomic weight is 56. 56. And I just go back here. And now you're part of the movie. You see? After God took a dump. Right? In the beginning, God took a dump. And here we are on the world stage. There has to be a starting point somewhere. <laughs> I just think it's really funny with this right here. I mean, come on. What are the odds? The, the God's a stand-up comedian. Okay. I think it's just really funny. This is tied to hell. 16 is hell. You know, you're in it. You're in it. 16 is hell. Sulfur. Fire is 16. Hell is 16. It's really kind of funny. It really, really is kind of funny. So when we take the protons, when we take the protons of these three elements that spell the word feces, you get the 100. And here's more comedy. Because this show, which I'm a huge fan of, I watched, I've already watched it three times. I'm going on my third time now is that it's all about these kids that are prisoners that get flushed from the ark. They come down from the ark. They come down from space. They come down from the astrological placements to earth to re-inhabit because it gets wiped out by a nuclear bomb. And they come down to see if it's inhabitable. And there's already people down there called the grounders. And it's the 100, which end up forming into the eighteen. The 100 tied to the dirt recreation 
subdue the earth, repopulate. If you read all that kind of text, replenish, re, do it again. And we're made from the dirt of the ground. So the story goes. It has merit because it's in written in the story in the context. So there you go. The 100 and the 100 is tied to serious. Are you serious? Absolutely serious. Serious being tied to the number 100 in its Greek spelling numerology. So let's get into the third topic now. Holy shit. A lot of you have said, I, like I, we say this without even thinking. Holy shit. Something exposed. Whoa, shit. I mean, are you that person that's programmed to say shit a lot? Holy shit. You know, you're looking up the sky, you see something you haven't seen before. Holy shit. Like, you don't even give it any thought. We just say it. It's a big combination of words that we really don't think about. But that's why I have the 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 uh, halo there. It's not just shit. It's holy shit. And I'm, I'm merely giving you some comedy to think about that we are the dump. And we think we're holy. We become holy. What does holy mean? Well, holy is 16, just like Sirius is 16. Is this where our origins came from? There's a lot of merit to that. Okay. So now we bring some theology. We blend all this together. And again, I'm saying that this is comedy. See, because the, the Holy Bible, holy means uh, spiritual, right? In a context, it means pure, holy, pure shit, holy shit. And when you say holy shit, you get the number 29. That's going to be tied to ribonucleic acid. That's for another, and that's the RNA, which is the messenger of the DNA. But you can see how holy reduces down to the number seven. 16 becomes the seven. Shit is 13, which becomes the four. And you get 74. And this, again, this is the comedy, right? We know that Jesus in the English A through Z is 74. I'm talking about holy shit. Jesus was holy. Who became a man. He became a man. And the starting point in the Torah is man came from dirt, which is where shit is. Holy shit. It's Jesus on the world stage. Of course, arsenic is the dead giveaway. This is going to, the 74 is going to fit into germanium as well as arsenic. But there's the 33 and the crucifixion date. And... You can see, holy shit is 29. Just like the word lukewarm. I've covered like the big scripture, I feel. The way to get out of this reality is Revelation 3, verses 16, where it talks about being lukewarm and you'll be spit out of my mouth. Not being hot or cold. Well, it, it, would, you, would you become holy? You, you're shit, but you become holy shit because you realize how this reality works. Holy shit. You become lukewarm. You become that, you know, G, the, the big takeaway for Jesus is like, let the eye be single. Yeah, well, that's neutrality. That's being lukewarm, not being hot or cold. That's what that scripture means. Let thy eye be single, not left or right, hot or cold, but be in the center and lukewarm. And you become holy shit. You see, you become holy shit. Of course, Lucifer is 74 in English, same thing. Okay, holy shit. All right, so let's bring in some cards of illumination. And I'm going to bring in the medicine cards as well. The 52 cards of the insects, animals, reptiles from the Native American traditions. Jamie Sams and company that created these cards. And, you know, when you say bear shit in the Chaldean, when you, when you convert it, you get the number 27. Which is funny because Diabolos is 27, right? And you can go and spread your wings with that, that nugget right there. But you see the bear card is card number five. Five fingers, five toes, five senses. Five is the bear. So I go to solar spread number five because we're talking about bear shit. And I look to space number five. And what do we have in space number five? The 27th card in the deck, the ace of diamonds. To confirm how much of a stand-up comedian all of this, you know, the G-O-D is. A bear shit in the woods and here we are. Stop thinking you're special. We're all the same, folks. You just have your own journey, your own path. You got to figure out how that stuff works. This is the comic joke. For the, you will ret the, the dust you will return to. 
should say the, the shit you will return to. You will return to shit, the dirt, the dust. That's where all animals the, 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 put you six feet under. You, be, you become dirt, dust. This is total comedy here. Total comedy. Total, total comedy. And then when I go to solar spread number 27 to match bear shit, the conversion from the Hebrew to Chaldean, and we look to the fifth space. What do we have there? Well, it's the five of hearts, which is the fifth card matching the bear. So this system is completely, has nothing to do with the cards of illumination, but you can see that it has everything to do with it because I would, I would bet my life that Jamie Sams and company who created these cards were not sitting down with the system with bear shit and putting this in context like this to get this right, just exactly this way. No, see, mankind is not control this reality. Mankind is being used. We are just along for the ride and journey. It's a beautiful one. You just got to figure your code out. This is the standout comedian. God, the G-O-D. Five fingers, five toes, five senses. Okay. Five fingers, five toes, and five senses. So, I can also take the conversion of bear shit, convert it to the English, and then convert it back to the Chaldean again. So, we take bear shit right here. And we do the conversion. So two is the first letter for bear shit, and there's B, two. And then the 20th letter in the Hebrew becomes the letter T. And Aleph becomes the one, it becomes the A, and so on and so forth. And this is the conversion, and you get the number 20. You get the number 20, which is duality. Duality is 20. Calcium is 20. And when you go to solar spread number 20, and I look for that five of hearts, which is the fifth card in the deck to match the fifth card in the medicine deck called the bear card to match bear shit. It sits in the 49th space, which is tied to down in a hole. No pun intended, right? What comes out of, what comes out of your butt? It's a hole. Down in a hole. How do you think this stuff comes out? I know this is kind of grotesque in a way, but where's the comedy in this? I'm focusing on the comedy. This is how comical this reality is. Super, super comical. Down in a hole. And keep in mind that 49 is going to reduce down to the number four and bear shit reduces all the way down to the number four. That's how comical this, all this stuff is. Four blood types. Four is the hole. The hole is 20. Bear shit converts to 20. The ho- What comes out of a hole? Shit. <laughs> ah, and then you have a player. You know, five fingers, five toes, five senses. You become a player on the world stage. There's the confirmation. It's been a while since I looked through these slides, so I'm not as sharp as I should be on this. I normally look over my presentations, but I, got a guy, I have so much material. So there you go. Duality is... In the beginning. In the beginning, God created duality and created man, which has five fingers, five toes, five senses, and a bear shit in the woods. <laughs> bear shit. This is the comedy of the G.O.D. of that story. And it's down in a hole. Down in a hole we go into duality where we become a player. Calcium. Five fingers, five toes, five senses. And it started within the beginning, converting to the English into the 20. How about all these funny things? For the 49th card in the medicine deck is the fish. We went down on a hole to become fish. Players in the matrix, fish is 17, life is 17, et cetera, et cetera. So again, this is, you know, um, I can't remember what word this was. See, I should have had, I should have been more on top of it. I don't I don't remember what word this was, but let's keep going. Oh, there it is. It's shit in the Hebrew. <laughs> the word shit in Hebrew converts to the number 20. <laughs> so we're shit down here in duality. Pawn is 20, Mason. Folks, do you realize how big? Whoop. Do you realize how big? 20 is duality is 20 matter is 20 um 
You become a builder, 20. These people don't get a hall pass, 20. Become a pawn on the chessboard, 20. You have a birthday, 20. I mean, I could keep going. I just have them all memorized. So you mean to tell me that bear shit, which is in the beginning, and the word shit converted into Hebrew ends up giving us the number 20? Come on, folks. See the comedy in this? In the beginning, there was shit. And man was created from the dirt, which is where shit comes from. Because <laughs> now, you know, we weren't always... Uh, human beings have come a long way. I mean, outhouses, pooping outside with a flashlight and shoes on, that used to be the way. We've got become more civilized, but it used to go in a hole. It still does in a lot of countries. In the dirt. So in the beginning, shit. Shit, 20. Calcium. Bones and teeth. Okay? This is how funny this is. Just so funny, if you ask me. So what about what the tarot has to say of all this? Holy shit. Holy becomes 16. The tarot, the tower card. Every time you sit on the toilet, you should probably think about the tower card. What's coming out of your butt? Sometimes it burns. <laughs> Get a little spicy bung, baby. But out pops the devil. <laughs> oh, man, I just think it's so funny. I'm, I'm like hot laughing. Because <laughs> it's just hilarious how the tarot combined with numerology just gives such a beautiful rendition of how this reality. Life's just a joke, man. So moving along, now we get into holy shit and we get into some alchemology. We take numerology, bring it into alchemy. You can bring and do the single digits, the double digits, the final outcomes. But we have sulfur and aluminum. Sulfur and aluminum. Element 16, holy. Element 13, shit. Aluminum. You can see that this is the 16th card in the deck. Boom, the explosion. And out pops death. See, this is why it says in the Torah that if you eat from the tree of knowledge of good and bad, you will positively die. You will positively become shit. You might be holy shit here, though. With the halo. You're a light. I know some of you. I'm a light worker. Okay, sure. But anyway, when you do the conversion of it, it's sulfur and aluminum. Sulfur is very violent. Aluminium, a luminary body. Light, a luminary body coming down to become matter. You can see that the atomic masses, when you do the molar mass, it's called in science, 32 and 27, you, you get the prison. You get the 59. This is why the rosary beads, there's 59 of them in Catholicism. Okay. Again, think about what I'm showing you. Holy shit. You become holy when you're down here playing the game of life. You can see that 16 and 13 through numerology is 59, just like sulfur and aluminum. When you spell these two elements out, it becomes 59. 59 rosary beads. The game of life is 59. How much more do we need to see? Holy shit means the game of life. You're in it. Holy shit, I'm in the game of life. Yeah, you're in a prison. Remember, I spelled this out. Prison. Another word you can spell out, how big, like, I mean, so big, how big this was, this finding for all of us here. And the prison bars, Gemini, well, you become part of the prison. That's why you'll never see me wear one of these, pledge to this idea, forget it. Forget that. And you can see the why 59. Well, now you know 59 is the 17th prime number. You get stuck in pi. Pi is the perfect circle, which is Earth. 3.14. It's, it's time. Pi is time because 3.14 is the measurement of the circle. And everything moves forwards or backwards. It doesn't sit still. And it's the circle, the wheel. That's why we have wheels on a car. It moves. Measurement of time. 17 is the uh, seventh prime number. We become the chakras. Seven is the fourth prime number. We become blood types. Stuck in the prison, we become holy shit. Okay. 
We become holy. This is how comical this is. Tied to religion to do it again. Religion puts you back right back and be behind the, uh, the, the, the prison bars. The prison bars does not save you. The kingdom, as I said, the kingdom is within you, well, not outside of you. But anyway, let's go further with the holy shit. We get the number 29. So I'm going to go to solar spread number 29. And I'm going to look for card number 29, which is the three of diamonds. This is tied to the RNA, by the way, the ribonucleic acid, the messenger of the deoxy ribonucleic acid. And interestingly enough, the three of diamonds sits in space number 24, which is tied to Jesus. Jesus is 24, where it originally came from, 24 hours in a day. And you have, this is a Kronos is 24 too, by the way. Tied to time, and you become an apprentice. Three of diamonds, three of pentacles. You become an apprentice. You become somebody who's a builder now. You're now building. You're now deoxyribonucleic acid from the ribonucleic acid. And now you become a Jesus Christ superstar character. And now you're considered holy. Holy shit. Okay. This is how comical this reality is, to me anyway. This could be space 26 if you flip it and mirror it, and that's going to be tied to uh, source and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, when you go further, how funny this stuff is. It's holy shit, holy Bible, holy game. Holy shit means the holy Bible. Nothing, I'm not, now those of you that are big fans of theology, I'm not, I'm not mocking and I'm certainly not degrading any books i'm merely giving the like i'm just being a stand up comedian so if you if you go to a stand up comedy show and you get offended by what the stand up comedian's saying well then you should, probably shouldn't be there right cuz god's a stand up comedian so if you get offended don't get mad at me for this because i'm just being used as the messenger to tell you the story of how this context works so i just want to establish that holy shit holy bible holy game alice is 13 okay Alice, a luminary body. I've already talked about this so many times. So when you do the numerology of holy shit, when you say the words out, 573-13514, 573-13514, you get 163, which just so happens to match to this element right here on the periodic table called dysprosium, which means hard to get. Dysprosium has 66 protons, coincidentally matching up to the addition of the latitude, longitude of the birthplace of the Christ, Bethlehem. Bethlehem. So what is this saying here? Well, remember, 316 is Revelation 316, which is a number permutation of that. It's telling you if you want to get out, you got to be lukewarm, which is holy shit. So in the, in the context of how I see this, what does it mean to be holy shit? Well, we're, sh we're all, what it, first and foremost, what does it mean to be a human, human being? We're shit. Made from the ground. And again, I'm bringing theology into us. You're made from the ground, which is where shit comes from. But if you want to get out of the game, you become holy shit. You become holy. That's what this context says. And this is, means hard to get. So... Is it hard to be holy shit? Yeah. It's a tall order because life and the game needs players. And my stance on this, this will get your recycle back quicker than you can think. Absolutely. But again, I think a lot of the context has been has been butchered and the interpretations have been, you know, butchered, et cetera, et cetera. I have my own interpretations just like you do. I'm not the authoritative voice and figure on that. I'm just me. So you got to take it for what it's worth. Okay. So let's get into the uh, fourth topic now. This one, man, if you, if you think man's running this reality, well, I will, I would ask you to consider what I'm about to show you. Okay. I, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to consider what I'm about to show you. If you still think you're in control of your, if you think that you're in control of your reality, I will ask you to tell me how this all pans out like this, this topic right here. Okay. From a funny topic, I'm getting serious, but I'm going to go back to funniness. 
because this looks like a Hershey kiss, right? Obviously. I mean, that's what they, if you ever had a Hershey kiss, that's what they look like. So this topic, Hershey kiss shit is more of a scripted reality, but let's begin here. So when I put this out on Facebook, this is a screenshot. And I said, coming soon, this person right here who I've never met before, I've gone to her page. And I mean, you could say, well, it's not a real person. So I, then I'd have to say that to every other synchronicity that I've found. But to me, this person, Christine Miller is a real person, gone to the page, seen tons of posts, people interacting, doesn't seem like a, a robot, an AI robot. But nonetheless, the comedy that she put down was, I bet it turns out to be a Hershey kiss. Okay. Which it looks like a Hershey kiss. So that's kind of a no brainer. Well, I decoded that. And again, I, what I'm going to say here is Christine Miller is not in control of her life. 1000%. Somebody I don't even know. Let's let, let me show you the, the, the support on what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to start off with where the Hershey kisses came from. Milton S. Hershey. Milton Snavel Hershey. Or Snavely. Interesting middle name. Okay. Milton Hershey designed Hershey, Pennsylvania. I mean, he's got his own road and Hershey, Pennsylvania. The kisses. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it as fate would have it? His birth certificate name is a match to holy shit. <laughs> so the question is, folks, how is this possible? Where I have a complete stranger I don't, I've never met. Put a comment here that is absolutely true because that does look, a pile of shit looks like a Hershey kiss. And then I'm like, oh, let me go decode a guy because that's kind of funny. And I, I actually enjoy Hershey Kisses with almonds. And Milton Hershey, his full birth certificate name is 74, which matches holy and shit, the reduction of that. Coincidence? Is Milton on this big conspiracy with Christine Miller to try to get one past you? From Am I in some big conspiracy? Like, did I just sit down and call Christine and say, Christine, we, you know, we'll put this comment out. Because beforehand... I looked up Hershey kisses. I looked up Milton and I realized that the numerology was a match. No, come on. That's absurd. That's my dry humor. I know. And it turns people off and people get offended, but I'm just joking. I'm just having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, my comedy, my point is there's no way that man could ever code this reality like this, not in a million years. And I'm just using Chaldean numerology, just one numerology cipher. That's it makes it a lot more harder when you just use one. So I have a foundation built with words and this is a scripted reality. This man was not in control of his reality. And I'm sure when he made the chocolate kiss, he didn't have shit in mind, but of course, God being a stand-up comedian, whatever that G-O-D is, obviously had it in mind because these words have origins to them. Remember, uh, Jesus is 74. Just remember that. Holy shit, become holy. So let's look to his birthday down here. Let's keep going. He was born on September 13th, 1857. September 13th, 1857. What do you see here? He was born on the 13th. He made Hershey kisses, which look like shit. 13 shit. Shit, the death card is 13. Down in a hole we go to become players on the world stage. You're, you, he ends up passing away and he returned to the dirt, which is where all the shit goes. It's just so ridiculous. So how about this humdinger? If you weren't convinced, September 13th, 256th, 257th day of the year. How many days does it leave on the calendar? 109. What is so significant about the 109? Well, it's the 29th prime number. <laughs> and we go back. We go back to holy shit. 
I mean, that's a holy shit, Mo. Holy shit. I mean, holy shit. You pro a lot of you have probably said that in your mind when you're watching this stuff, like, holy shit. How the hell are these connections coming out like this? Holy mackerel. Yeah. All found and originating from somebody I have never met in my life. I'm just following the trail, baby. That's it. I'm just following the trail. It's all code and the universe is talking to you. And it's a stand-up comedian. But wait, there's more. So we have the 29 being tied to the 109, the holy shit being tied to the 29. And then if you take Christine Miller and you add in what she says it was going to be, the big draw obviously was her name and Hershey Kiss. You get the number 76. Christine Miller, Hershey Kiss. This is what she thought it was. I bet it turns out to be a Hershey Kiss. Remember what that 76 is, right? Bear shit. I mean, are you really kidding me? <laughs> it's osmium. Bear shit. There you go, folks. Scripted reality. A very fun one. I bet it turns out to be a Hershey kiss. I don't know if that's what it looks like when a bear takes a dump in the woods. I don't know if that what it looks like when you take a dump in the toilet. I'm having fun here. I know this is a pretty, but you got to have fun with this. You got to have fun with this. So what are the odds that she posted something and the keyword was Hershey Kiss tied to her name is 76, which matches bear shit, which is in the beginning. What are the odds? And that's what this whole thing's all about. This is what started this decode was in the beginning and bear shit. This was the comedy. This was the comedy. Even Genesis is 13 in Hebrew numerology. Shit. Okay. Shit. Shit. Here's the numerology of the entire statement that she put there. I bet it turns out to be a Hershey kiss. That's the number 108. The 108 is not the prime number, but the next prime number in line is the 109. Which goes back to holy shit. See how close that is? So if you're someone who decodes, like, why would I do that? Because I like to look for the primes. So if you get a number that's not a prime, you look to the next number that is the prime and that number rules the 108. So the, the 109 rules the 108. And then the previous prime is the 107, which is the 28th prime number. So what again, what are the odds that she ha puts this statement here? It becomes the 108, which is just one digit shy of the 109, which is the 29th prime number. And this is the title of the decode. What are the odds? What are the coincidental odds that she sat down and mapped it out before she put it down here in the text? No freaking way. Nope. Not possible. I bet my life on it. So we're living in a scripted reality. And the comedy is, we say this word a lot, this combination of words. And now you know what it means. The 29. Holy shit. Okay. So I think I have a few slides left. So here's her Facebook page. And I went to go look. I, I do this often. I want to see what I'm dealing with, right? Well, I don't know if this is her birthday, but it doesn't matter. Because this is what we're showing. And the universe and it knew that I would end up doing this. It threw this at me using Christine as the catalyst. And her birth card is the king of spades. The January 1st card. Here's the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination. Here it is. The only birthday that has the king of spades. Just one. It's January 1st. Okay. She's got the king of spades, which is card number 52. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is because she mentioned it was Hershey kiss. Now I'm going to compare Milton Hershey's card with hers. And he was born on September 13th. And what card is his? The Jack of Clubs, September 13th. Here it is, September, coming down to the 13th. There it is, row number 13, Jack of Clubs, okay? So he's got the 24th card in the deck. She's got the 52nd card in the deck. And when you bring them together, <laughs> you get bear shit. Oh, 
<laughs> I, I forgot. I, I forgot that I had this part. <laughs> oh my God! Just give me a second. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, come on, man. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, so maybe you want to get a, go out there and buy a bag of Hershey Kisses with almonds. <laughs> go support Hershey Company. <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. Uh, that was that topic. Th that was probably the f most fun part of this deco. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get into the final topic for this. Holy shit, decoded. <laughs> oh, let me clear my sweat here. Uh, made in Japan shit. So you want to see some more of some scripted reality? Here it is. And I'm going to start with the poop emoji. Okay, I got to include the poop emoji, right? Since we're using a lot of the cell phones and computers. And the emoji right there, the Unicode for the poop emoji was the U plus the 1F4A9 for the pile of poo. Okay. Holy shit. And then when you do the numerology of that. <laughs> You get the 29. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, man. This is all stand up comedy from whatever created in this reality. <laughs> ah, so, 20, what are the odds, right? I mean, you would have to then say all these people that created it are all in the conspiracy and they would start with holy shit <laughs> being the 29. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, let's go to the history of it. That's why it's made in Japan, right? Made in Japan. Because the poop pile of poo first appeared in the set of 90 emojis for the J phone released in 1997. The J phone, which was Japan. Okay? The J phone was where the history of this pile of poo came from. Right? which is hilarious because Japan is 16, <laughs> which makes this pile of poo, holy shit. <laughs> this pile of poo is holy, baby, because it's from Japan, the land of the rising sun. It's got a big blood dot on the, on the flag, a red blood cell, maybe in, in, uh, telling us that our, our origins are from Japan, made in Japan, Ja and Pan. So the pile of poo becomes holy because it's made in Japan. <laughs> so funny. And then how about this guy right here? I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. Well, actually, I'm going to take a stab at it. Takeshi Kishimoto. He was the guy that he, he expanded with Google for the poop emoji, the pile of poo. Okay, when you do that, I'll let you read all this kind of stuff. But this is the word they put in. This is the guy. Now, this is a real dude. Well, it's in the text. Well, he's a 55. His name. Right? His name is 55. And when you take the 55 and you look at it in the string of the golden ratio. Well, it starts with the one and then the three, which is becomes digit number 56. Remember what that 56 was? Lights, camera, action, which is tied to 76, which is tied to bear shit. I'm going to go back to that. But 13 is shit. This guy was part of the Google team here. The Japanese product manager. That the pile of poo emoji was the most useful emoji. Which is holy because it's from Japan. And 55 is his name numerology, and 13 is occupying digit 55 and 56. And I just go all the way back up here. And you can see the comedy, ladies and gentlemen, where you are tied to bear shit. Lights, camera, action, 56. 263 is the 56 prime number. The addition of the protons, neutrons, and electrons of osmium, which is the 76, which is tied to bear shit. See how it's all connected? 
It's all connected, ladies and gentlemen. The whole thing. All of it. Mankind is being used to deliver the code that was already written before we got here. All the ancient texts, they're all telling their own story. You can decode them all. It's a big Ponzi scheme. The whole thing. And that's it. Shit's complete. The final slide for this decode. We are complete. Shit's complete, baby. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit decoded. I hope you had fun watching this. I think this was one of the better ones because it was a lot. I like to laugh and most of my decodes are very serious and you, all of you know that I'm kind of really serious with this kind of stuff. So this is this brings a light heart, it brings a lot of comedy, it makes me laugh. It makes me realize that this reality is a big joke and whatever created it is a stand-up comedian. And that's my final answer. So that's it. That's all I got for this decode. My name is Logan Decoder Reality. Until next time, we will see you next time.